Good afternoon everyone, this is Daniel with Indie Game Cove, and today I'll be showing you how to create a companion sprite to add a new dimension to your Construct 2 platform game. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what we'll be building, the final result here. Um, so, basically as your platform character is going through, their, through the level, you're going to have a small sprite following you throughout the... Uh, throughout the game. So you can see how this could be useful if you're creating a magic game and want your magician to have like a, a little familiar. Uh, so for example it could be a bat or even just a floating orb that follows your player around. And then you can go ahead and program it to do various things. So for example you could click a particular button, the control switches from the player to the sprite, and then the sprite can go around and collect items or investigate things. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open up our construct program. And I'm going to show you how to build it. And this is going to actually be a pretty straightforward tutorial here. What we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and open a new file. And we're going to go ahead and open the platformer template. All right. And we're going to go ahead and create a sprite. And then we're going to shrink the sprite down to a 16 by 16. And that'll give it a good size in proportion to, I believe this is a 32 by 32 player. All right. And we're going to add a behavior to our sprite. We're going to add custom movement behavior. After you've added that, we're ready to go into the event sheet. So the first event is going to be on every tick, or just every tick, my bad. Sprite, we're going to go down to the custom movement options under velocity, and we're going to select accelerate towards position. Go ahead and double click on that. And you're going to want a pretty high acceleration so that it turns about at a sharp angle here. I'm going to go ahead and add 15,000. And then you're just going to enter player x, player y. And what that's going to do is it's constantly going to be accelerating towards the player's position. And then we're going to go ahead and set the speed of the sprite. And what we want this to do is we want it to speed up as it gets further away from the player. So that even if the player kind of gets away from it, it's going to catch up the f faster and faster the further away the player gets. So to do this, for the speed variable, we're going to go ahead and enter the distance formula. And to do this, this takes four um, inputs here. The first one is going to be x1. So this is going to be our little uh, follower sprite. And we're going to enter the x and the y position for that sprite. And then we're just going to enter the player position, x and y. All right, once we've done that, we're going to go ahead and open up the preview menu so we can go ahead and see what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, the sprite is going to go ahead and just go straight to the player's origin right here. And that's because in our project, we had it going straight towards the player. So we're going to just go ahead and subtract uh, about 50 from both the X and the Y position. And this is going to be both in the acceleration and the speed options. And what that's going to do is it's going to set the sprite to target this particular area just offset of the sprite. That way it's not going to be hovering over the sprite all the time. Now, with that, you could pretty much play your game and it would work pretty well 
but we're going to add a little bit more uh, a couple more characteristics here stands if the player stops the uh, sprite is also going to stop and it's not going to move at all what I want to do is I want the sprite to kind of go ahead and move a little bit on its own even if the player is stopped um, this could be uh, for example if you have some kind of living creature like a bat floating around um, it'll look more natural if it has a little bit of uh, up and down motion to it so in order to add that we're going to go into our event sheet we're just going to add another condition and this condition will be under the system and we're going to compare two values so the first value we're going to compare is the distance that we used previously so you can just copy and paste that into your first variable into your first value and we're going to see if it's greater than 15 so this is checking if the distance between the player and the uh, follower sprite is greater than 15 if it is then it's going to trigger the actions that we just programmed in there we're going to go ahead and run the layout as you can see it goes ahead and goes right to the offset position and gives it a little bit of a bobble there and that'll give it a little bit uh, nicer dynamic for your game okay so as your player is running about the screen as it stands right now you kind of start losing the sprite off the screen and we want to avoid that so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and back go back into our um, speed action here and we're just going to multiply that by three and that's going to increase the speed um, but it's going to keep the um, distance formula in there so now when we run it the sprite is going to go ahead and stay with the player and you'll have to customize this specifically to your platformer all right that just about covers it if you have any um, questions leave them in the comments below I appreciate any feedback and if you found this tutorial helpful uh, likes would help me out a lot thanks